Hi guys, good morning and happy Sunday. Welcome back to my channel, Couponing with Kayla. We are outside of the Walgreens this morning. We're about to head in here and check out some deals. I'm gonna walk you guys through the deals in the store, plus I'll have a printable list below the video. So you can print that out, take it to the store with you, and it's gonna help make your shopping trip super easy. Now, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I am so happy that you're here. I hope that you find this video helpful. And if you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit that red subscribe button down below so you don't miss any new videos. And if you're a returning subscriber, I'm so happy that you guys are here and we are about to get some good deals here at Walgreens So we are gonna look at spin booster deals newbie friendly deals all of that good stuff Once we get done shopping in the store I'm gonna go over the receipt with you guys talk final cost of everything So make sure you stay tuned for that so you can see if there's any issues to watch out for plus see what our final total is and all of that good stuff So we're gonna get in here. We're gonna see what we can do. We have that spin booster that's spin 40 get back 10 Walgreens cash it's a multi-use booster so I think most of us got that one so that's what I'm working with today um, if I go in here and I'm lucky enough to get a paper booster to stack with that that'll be really good um, but otherwise that's what I'm working with today so we're gonna go ahead in here and see what all we can pick up <music> All right guys, so the first thing that I'm picking up is some Banana Boat or Hawaiian Tropics sunscreen. So it's not tagged here at my store, but it's buy to get a $4 register reward. And there's lots of different products that are $9 each. So just an example, we have the ones up here. Those are $9 each. Um, these are $9 each. Uh, these as well. And then we've also got like the Kids Sports and the cool zone here. So I think I'm gonna grab these two. I have a five off two digital. So these two being $9 each will total me $18. With a five off two digital coupon, I'll pay $13, but get a $4 register reward back, making them two for $9. So that's a pretty good savings on sunscreen, especially when we're getting into the summertime. And you can pay with Walgreens cash on this deal as well. Now, if you don't have a five off two digital, check your account for a two off one on banana boat check your account for a two off one on hawaiian tropic we also may have a 350 off one digital so just depending on what you have make it work so that way you can get the best deal possible with the digital coupons that you have available to you but i believe that my five off two should come off on this so we will see what happens when i get to check out Next up, we are going to grab a couple of Father's Day cards priced at $2.99 each. So you want to make sure they're Hallmark cards and they're $2.99. Two of these will total you $5.98. If you have a 5 off 2 digital coupon, you could use that, making your final cost only $0.98 cents for two Father's Day cards. Now, if you don't have your 5 off 2 digital, check and see if you have a 4 off 2 digital. If you do, it would make it $1.98 for both, which is definitely still a good deal and you can pay with Walgreens cash. Next deal we're going to pick up is on the Colgate. So we're going to grab one of the Colgate toothbrushes for $4.50 and we're also going to grab the mouthwash for $4.50. So these two products will total you $9. We have a four off two digital coupon. This is a coupon that we got last week so you should have one for mouthwash and toothbrushes and then a separate one for toothpaste depending on how you want to do the deal. So you are going to end up paying $5 after your digital coupon. You can pay with Walgreens cash if you have it and you'll earn back a $4 register reward for buying two, making your final cost $1 for both. Next up, I'm going to grab this Crest Pro Health toothpaste. This is $4 and it is part of the Spin 12 get a $6 register reward deal. But also this particular toothpaste with it being on sale for $4, we have a $2 digital coupon. So it would make it $2 and then we have $2 back on Ibotta as well. So you could get that one Crest toothpaste for completely free even if you didn't want to do the whole deal for Spin 12 get a $6 register reward. But another deal that I want to show you guys is over here on the Crest Brilliant, the whitening two-step kit. This is on sale for $12.99 and you get a $6 register reward when you spend $12. So we have a $4 digital coupon for this. So with the $4 digital as well as getting back
back a six dollar register reward your final cost on this would be just two dollars and 98 cents so not bad if you want this item that normally is 15.99 guys check your account and see if you got a three dollars off of one on puffs because i was looking online and i have a three dollar off one digital coupon that actually applies to the smaller boxes of a dollar 99 or 279 so if you were to do this deal online it will just take off the 279 it'll make one box of tissues completely free so that is an easy deal to maybe do for a pickup order if you want to grab these one clearance find that i just came across is on this hair dye right here it's the keratin color it's normally 13.99 it's on clearance for eight dollars and 69 cents we have a four dollar digital coupon for this so you would pay 4.69 you can pay with walgreens cash and then you would submit over to ibotta for three dollars back making your final cost only a dollar 69. So guys, in my must-do deals video, I showed you the Aussie hair care for buy one, get one 40% off, buy three, get a $2 register reward. Looking at it in the store, I don't really feel like it's going to be the best deal because as you can see, my store doesn't even have the cheaper products anymore. We used to have some bottles that were like $3.99 each, um, but my store, the lowest price product is $5.99. That's included in the deal as well as these $8.99 bottles. So if your store has these smaller bottles definitely check out that deal on the printable list it's a pretty decent deal but if not you may want to skip this deal unless this is just like your favorite hair care product so another i bought a deal is if you want to grab the pantene miracle rescue shots this is six dollars and 99 cents we don't have any digital coupons for this but we do have three dollars back on i bought us so it would make it 3.99 for this kit if you want to try it our clearance fine is right here on these little remedies gas drops. These are four dollars and nineteen cents, normally thirteen ninety-nine. We have a two dollar Walgreens coupon that will work on this, making it just two dollars and nineteen cents. And we have the deal still going on on the Walgreens brand liners, pads, and other products. These are buy one get one 25% off. So if you grab some pads at $3.29, your second one will be $2.47. Your total will be $5.76 and you get back a $5 register reward making your final cost only $0.76 cents for both. And don't forget if your store has the liners in stock, you could get these for free and a money maker. But as you can see, they are all out of stock here at my store. I'm also going to pick up these Body Armor Flash IV drinks. These are two for $5, but I have a buy one, get one free digital coupon. So this should take off at least $2.50 for one of these. Hey right guys, so this is everything that I have in my cart. I'm going to do two transactions. I'm using my Spin 40, get back $10 Walgreens Cash digital booster. If I end up getting a larger spin booster um, for the paper coupons that I can use to pair up with that, I'll definitely do that. Um, but if not, I'm just working with that one. And then I have these manufacturer register rewards that I'm going to use to help lower my out-of-pocket costs. So you can see right here, if it says manufacturer at the top, you can use these on a spin deal. So I have these that I earned last week. So that's going to help lower my out-of-pocket cost a little bit on this transaction. But this is everything that I'm going to pick up today. So we're going to go ahead, head to checkout, and then we'll go over the receipt as soon as we get back to the house. After I bought the banana boat, this spin 40 gets $7 Walgreens cash printed for me. So I'm going to use it for my big transaction. All right, y'all. So let me just say, I, I love couponing at Walgreens. It's probably one of my favorite stores to coupon at. So let me just say that. <laughs> but sometimes when register rewards don't print or your booster gets kicked off of the receipt for no reason that is so frustrating um so let me just say my register rewards printed today so that was great but the deal for the png products the spend 20 get five dollars walgreens cash i'm thinking that that deal only works online you let me know if you've done it in the store and it worked for you when I added those Crest and Oral-B products to my cart online, it was showing me earning the $5 Walgreens cash. But when I did the deal in the store, it did not give me the $5 Walgreens cash. So I called into customer service, I asked about it, and they did credit it to me. They didn't say anything like, oh, this is a one-time courtesy or anything. They were like, you know, we can see the promotion. So they gave me the $5 Walgreens cash. 
great, no issue there. Now, for my spin booster, you guys know I was doing the spin 40, get $10 Walgreens cash digital booster. You can stack that with a paper booster. And I so, I so happened to get a spin 40, get $7 Walgreens cash on my first transaction that I did with the banana boat. So I was like, oh my gosh, that's awesome because I'm gonna use it on my spin booster um, scenario that I have for my digital spin booster. I'm gonna use this paper one. It's gonna make it a better deal. So the cashier scans the spin 40, get seven after she scans scans all my items. I was at like $40.96, something like that. She scans that coupon. She scans my register rewards. I see her physically scan it. So I know that she did. And this has happened in the past where they scan it somehow kicks it out. So I didn't know that until I got to the car and I look at my receipt. I'm at a different Walgreens than I normally go to. So I was like, do I want to go back in there and ask them for the seven dollars walgreens cash because it was a paper booster i mean she knows that i used it they may give it to me but some stores will some won't it just depends so i was like okay well i'm gonna call customer service about you know the walgreens cash for the png deal and then i'm gonna ask about this so thankfully you guys um they credited me for the png no problem then they transferred me to a different department for the paper booster that i had of spin 40 get seven then the lady said, well, register rewards, you have to contact Catalina. And I said, well, I do know that. I said, but I did get all my register rewards today. But the problem is that my spend 40, get $7 Walgreens cash paper booster. She scanned it. So I gave her the coupon. She kept the coupon. She scanned it, but it didn't give me the $7 Walgreens cash. So I'm just wondering if you can help with that. And she said, well, I'll do it as a one-time courtesy, but that is something that you have to contact Catalina for. And then they'll give you the coupon back and I was thinking I, I may be wrong but I've never heard of them sending you a new booster in the mail because your booster didn't work and then they <laughs> you know what I mean so anyways I feel like it's probably better to just ask the store about that one because you're physically there at the store they may or may not do it worst case scenario if I had gone back in the store and asked about it and they didn't want to credit me the Walgreens cash I would ask if I could have that coupon back because you know then I could use it on a future purchase since I didn't get the seven dollars Walgreens cash but in this case since customer service credited me um that should pop up pop up on my account here in just a little bit um under my rewards activity so thankfully I did get it I'm very thankful for that and very appreciative that they did credit me but that's the only thing sometimes stuff like that can make Walgreens couponing more difficult if you don't get the credit for your booster your register reward doesn't print your digital coupon doesn't come off you know that kind of stuff but Overall, I think I'm going to be happy with my transactions today, but I just want to be transparent with you guys and let you know what happens, you know, this didn't work for me, that kind of stuff. So we're going to go home. We're going to go over the receipt and we're going to talk final cost of all of our items now that I've blabbed for almost five minutes about this, but I'm just letting you guys know, like I said, it's not always rainbows and sunshine, but sometimes it is. So we're going to go home and see how much our final cost was for all of our items today. Hey guys, I am back home and this is my Walgreens haul for this week. We're going to go over the receipts and talk final cost of everything we picked up today. I'm going to go over my first transaction with you and then we'll get into my main transaction that I did. So I did the banana boat sunscreen on one transaction by itself. Originally I was going to put it into my spin booster deal, but I kind of switched that up a little because there was a couple of other things that I decided to get while I was in the store. So for the banana boat, they were $9 each. So you can see them right here. So that was $18. I used a five off two digital. My total was $13, so I went ahead and paid that. I used $10 in Walgreens cash, so that means I paid $3 plus tax out of pocket. On this transaction, I got back a $4 register reward. So with that, we had $13 and then a $4 register reward back, making them two for $9. But like I said, paid very little out of pocket by using Walgreens cash on that transaction. So really simple transaction to do right there. Then I got into my main transaction where I was doing my spin 40, get $10 Walgreens cash digital booster. And I had a spin 40, get $7 Walgreens cash paper booster. Like I said, that printed for me 
right after I did my banana boat transaction. So since it printed for me there, luckily I went ahead and used it on this transaction. But as I told you guys in the car, for some reason, it kicked it off of the receipt. That happens every so often. I'm not exactly sure why, but normally it will work fine. So hopefully you won't run into the same issue. But if you have that same paper booster, definitely use that. Stack it with your digital booster to get more Walgreens cash back on your deal. So on this, I got the hair dye that was on clearance. I got the crest kit there. I got the body armor flash IV. They were on sale two for $5. Then I had the oral B flossers for $4, the crest for $4, and the two Hallmark cards for $2.99 each. My total was around $40.96 um, before any coupons. I had three manufacturer register rewards that I showed you guys in the store that I was using to help lower my out-of-pocket cost. So you can see those three right there. Everything else is our digital coupons. We had $4 off one on the hair dye. We had $4 off of one on the Crest kit. We had $2 off of one of the Crest toothpaste. We had $3.19 come off for the buy one get one free coupon for body armor. So even though they were two for five, which made them $2.50 each, the full value of $3.19 came off. So that was nice. And then we also had our digital coupon for $5 off two on the Hallmark cards. So my subtotal was $11.77. So I paid that plus tax out of pocket. I actually used my PayPal debit card to pay. And right now, I've told you guys I use my PayPal debit card for my couponing, but right now also they are doing this thing on mine and I, it may vary by account, but it's like if I make, I don't know, eight purchases of $25 within a couple weeks time, something like that, then I get $9 in actual cash back. And I thought that was kind of cool because I'm using my PayPal debit card anyways. Um, obviously, I didn't spend over $25 on this transaction, but I'm just saying um, they're starting to offer some different perks like that, which I thought was kind of neat. Um, so anyways, if you want a PayPal debit card, you just go on to the PayPal site and you can get a debit card for free and I haven't had any fees or anything like that on mine. So I like using it to keep my couponing separate from my everyday purchases. Um, but yeah, so I paid $11.77 plus tax out of pocket. Now, if you add back in the register rewards that I used, I used $11 in register rewards to lower that out of pocket cost. So really your total on that transaction would be $22.77 after digital coupons. Now on this, I got back my $10.40 in Walgreens cash. That was $10 for the digital booster and the 40 cents for everyday Walgreens cash. As you can see, my coupon for spend 40 get seven is not showing right here. Normally that paper coupon will show right here above your other coupons that you use. So um, thankfully, customer service did credit me that. I talked about that in the car. So a total of $17.40 in Walgreens cash just from your boosters if you're using those same boosters. Then on this, I got my $6 register reward for spending over $12.00. On the Crest products, just that one kit would get you there. Um, but I did buy those other items because I was trying to do the PNG deal. As I told you guys um, in the car as well, the $5 Walgreens cash for that PNG deal did not automatically credit to me. So I think it's an online deal. So keep that in mind. Um, but if you're looking at this transaction, it's $22.77. Get $10.40 Walgreens cash for your digital booster, $7 Walgreens cash for your paper booster, a $6 register reward, and then submit over to Ibotta for $5 back because you're getting $2 on Crest and $3 on the hair dye. That made this transaction completely free and a $5.63 moneymaker. Now, as I told you guys in the car, when I called customer service, they did give me the $5 Walgreens cash for the P&G deal because it does show it on the website. So they gave that to me with no issue. So really my transaction ended up being completely free and a $10.63 moneymaker. Now, also, I want to remind you guys, if you're doing the P&G rebates for spend 50, get a $15 Visa card, or spend 20, get a $5 Visa card, I'll have that video linked below in the description box of how to do the rebate if you haven't done it yet. But you can either submit one receipt or you can save your receipts from a couple different purchases until you get to the amount you want. So if you want to save for the spend 50, get 15. 
You can hold on to some receipts and then submit them at once. But on this deal, for example, this kit right here and this toothpaste, they both count towards that deal. So if you are saving up receipts for that rebate, those are a couple of items that would count towards it. Um, the Oral-B does not on that particular rebate on the PNG site right now. Um, but just wanted to point that out that that can be a way to get you there. Now, of course, coupons take away from that because they look at the actual amount that you're spending. Um, so keep that in mind as well. But could count a little towards it. Overall today with my transaction for the sunscreen that cost me $9 and then this transaction that was a 1063 moneymaker, my final cost was completely free and $1.63 moneymaker. Now even without that $5 back on the P&G, you would still come out really great for all of these items today. Now, actual out-of-pocket costs, because one was $11.77 plus tax out-of-pocket and one was $3 plus tax out-of-pocket, that means I spent $14.77 plus tax out-of-pocket today, and I got $5 in real cash back from Ibotta. So, actual cash out-of-pocket was about $9.77 plus tax. Don't think that's bad for what I got. But like I said, overall free and a little bit of a moneymaker today, so I will take it. Let me know down in the comments below if you're going to do any of these same deals. And as always, I appreciate you guys so, so much for taking the time to watch this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.